Hey, I'm Angie. I'm Rhonda. And we are Adventures in Nomadness. Thanks so much for joining us. We are staying in beautiful La Conner, Washington, and there's so much to do in this area uh, between La Conner and Anacortes, San Juans, Woodby Island. So stay tuned and we'll talk about all the cool things there are to do in this area. So today we're going to go on the Tommy Thompson Trail. This is a round trip 6.6 mile flat walk on a just a beautiful spot right here with the water behind us. Mount Baker's over that way and the oil refineries are right behind us too. So this is an old railroad grade and so super flat, super easy. One of the best spots for finding any hikes of any ability is the WTA. So the Washington Trails Association and then you can find that at WTA wta.com they got a fantastic uh, map where you can find any hike in any area that you're at uh, also craig romano does the some of the best guidebooks anywhere in washington so craig romano look him up on amazon and you can get his books on kindle if you want <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so what's our opinion of the best beer to grab after a good hike? Mm, depends on whether or not you like raspberry. If you like raspberry beer, I go for Bastion. Bastion Brewing has a killer of raspberry wheat. Neither one of us are into IPAs, but uh, they've got a great IPA list. But there's so many breweries in the area, and they're all really good. So downtown Connor, there's a Connor Brewing Company. There's Most of them will have a map of the area to tell oh, you yeah. where all the breweries are. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, if you're in the area, grab one of those. It's the Skagit Farm to Point L Trail, and it gives you all the breweries in the area. And then you can get a little stamp on each one, and then you get a pint glass when you hit all the brew places along the way. Got something we can yeah. We did at one point. <laughs> we have tried a lot of the breweries, and they're all really good. We haven't tried all of them, but most of them. Anyway, our other favorite is North Sound Brewing, uh, kind of on the way to Mount Vernon. Like I said, Anacortis is good. The Connor Brewing Company is really good, and both of them serve food. The right Anacortis is a, yeah, sorry. The Anacortis one is a full bar and also serves food. Yeah, and this one at Bastion, they actually do serve food on the other side, and it's dog friendly. Two thumbs up from us with the dog friendly. Oh, speaking of dog friendly, he's tired. But <laughs> what's your favorite brew? The best time to go to Anacortis and LaConnor. Well, really, any time is a great time to go, even in the winter. Even especially in the winter. January is a fantastic time to be in the Skagit Valley, uh, Lacana area especially, because of all the migratory birds. Uh, the Skagit area, see, Skagit River, sees one of the, the largest migratory um, collection of bald eagles. Uh, they come for the salmon and they're really easy to spot. Also during any time in the winter the trumpeter swans, uh, tundra swans, and snow geese and there's literally thousands of them all around. You'll see them in the fields and uh, it's a fantastic time to go. There's a lot of different activities and there's a big uh, eagle festival that goes on during the month of January. April. We're here at the Tulip Fest. We're here a little bit early. It was the first part of April, so all the tulips aren't out, but they're just starting to pop out. It's kind of an annual pilgrimage for us yep. when we're here. Now, we may not be here next April, but this is an amazing place for that. So if you're here, April is like awesome. And you'll see the daffodil fields, even if the, the tulips aren't out yet. Yeah, March is daffodils. April is tulips, but the, the uh, daffodils are out too. Anyway, one of the best times of year to be here. Oh, 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 oh,